Greetings citizens of the world. North Korean state media has warned Washington of a supermighty preemptive strike which would reduce the U.S. to ashes. It comes after U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said Washington is looking to pressure Pyongyang over its nuclear program. In the case of our supermighty preemptive strike being launched, it will completely and immediately wipe out not only U.S. imperialists invasion forces in South Korea and its surrounding areas, but the U.S. mainland and reduce them to ashes, wrote Ong Sin Mun, the official newspaper of the North's ruling Workers' Party, wrote on Thursday, as quoted by Reuters. It comes just one day after Tyson, as part of President Donald Trump's hardline stance against North Korea, said the U.S. is exploring ways to put pressure on Pyongyang. We're reviewing all the status of North Korea, both in terms of state sponsorship of terrorism as well as the other ways in which we can bring pressure on the regime in Pyongyang to re-engage with us, but re-engage with us on a different footing than past talks have been held, he told reporters on Wednesday. Tyson wasn't the only Trump-appointed U.S. official making remarks about North Korea on Wednesday. Speaking from the USS Ronald Reagan in Japan, Vice President Mike Pence vowed an overwhelming and effective response to any potential attacks from Pyongyang, stressing that the sword stands ready. Defense Secretary Jim Mattis simultaneously denounced Pyongyang's latest missile launch attempt during his Middle East tour, telling reporters in Saudi Arabia that the leader of North Korea again recklessly tried to provoke something by launching a missile. Meanwhile, South Korea's acting president, Hwang Kyo-on, called for his country's military and security ministries to remain vigilant on Thursday. South Korea's defense ministry also confirmed on Thursday that the U.S. and South Korean air forces are conducting an annual training exercise, codenamed Max Thunder, until April 28. We are conducting a practical and more intensive exercise than ever, South Korean pilot Colonel Lee Bumchil told reporters. Through this exercise, I am sure we can deter war and remove our enemies' intention to provoke us. The Thursday threat by North Korean state media come after Pyongyang performed a music show to mark the birth of former leader Kim Il-sung, which included a video that appeared to show North Korea striking the U.S. with a devastating missile launch. North Korea tried and failed to launch a ballistic missile last Saturday, with the weapon reportedly blowing up almost immediately after launch.